So, Lilette, what does motherhood mean to you? I think for me, one of the most important things, functions, roles of my life has been motherhood. You know, I always say, people say, what is the most exciting production you've done? And I said, you know, if you take a scale and whatever work I've done in the theatre and film and I put it all on one side, it will still be so light compared to Neha and Ira on the other side, the most creative productions I've ever done. So I'm very clear what motherhood means. It is the linchpin of my life. I think it defines me. That's a very good way of putting it. So Lilette, you've done a play about a very sensitive issue and something we've talked about on the show, uh, child sex abuse awareness. What, what are your views on that and what initiated the play and your interest in this space? Well, the play uh, was uh, commissioned by an NGO. They decided to commission Mahesh Datani to write a play. Write a play. And uh, then, of course, the idea was that the play should be done. And I remember I was shooting for Monsoon Wedding and we were having a coffee. And it was strange because in Monsoon also there was there was that angle, angle you know, yes, about the I uncle remember. and yeah, all that. Yeah. Uh, and it was very, it was serendipity, you know. So it was in the film and we were having a coffee and he said, you know, there is this cu couple who's uh, commissioned me to write this play. But what's the point of just writing a play? Of course, I'm writing, but I wish someone would do it. Yeah. And Tara, I had no idea what the story was. I had no idea of anything. I said, it's a play on this subject. And I said, I have two daughters and it's a story about a girl. Yeah. And I don't want to know any more than that. I will produce it and I will direct it. And then he said, oh, there's a great part in writing and I love you. You know, you should think about doing it as well and all that. And then as it happened, it was beautiful because it was my daughter and I who yeah. played yes. the two people in it. And it was a play which I really thought will do like 25 shows. I'm doing it because I believe in in this story. Yes. It's done over 150 shows around the world. And so I remember my own mother who, who's, who was a gynecologist, uh, you know, with Shirodkar in the, in the some 50s. Yeah. And so very feminist and I mean, very forward looking liberal woman. And she told me, what is this? These sort of things don't happen in, in uh, cities. Let. This only happens in, in the villages. And I said, what are you talking? Here are the statistics. Yeah. So anyway, when we did the play, after every show, we had people coming, crying, remembering things and all that, you know, which is okay, which was like a catharsis. Yeah. But to me, the most important thing in this whole exercise, which was a learning, is that this is such a complex area yeah. because the child is so small, so vulnerable when this happens. A, they don't understand. They just feel uncomfortable, but they don't speak. When they speak, the mother doesn't believe it, that her brother or her somebody could be doing this. So they deny the child the, the truth of it. Now, this is something so important for parents to understand that when a child is coming to you, even if he's confused, even if there's a slight element of doubt, you Must have to believe. believe the child. Absolutely. It doesn't matter if it's someone unbelievable, which makes you so upset and uncomfortable, but you have to believe the child. Yes. Because what happens is they don't understand, you know, the, the complexity of the thing. So they get so badly affected in the mind yeah. by something like this. But I think this also brings us to sex education, because what I found is it's as much about educating the parents. When I was launching a book called Good Touch, Bad Touch, mm. and I was reading it and Zen, who was four at the time, was sitting beside me and he said, Mama, what are you reading? My instinct was not to tell him because yeah. it just seemed odd. But the first page of that book actually says that as young as possible, you have to explain what good touch and bad touch is. Yeah in an age appropriate way. Mm. So you don't have to shock them and scare them. Yeah. But because we don't also want to create a paranoid society mm -hmm. where everyone's like frightened of touching you know, at all. Yeah, yeah, because we have to make sure but that I tell there's a balance. You, the child but, is the best judge of that because in the touch, the child knows whether exactly. there is love and genuine affection or there is something that makes the child feel uncomfortable. So I think it's know? extremely important to it's very Explain important to listen to the child and to listen tell, and to tell and, yeah. the child yeah. that if you ever feel that there's something wrong, you must come and speak. Yeah. Yeah. We as parents have to make sure that they don't have that fear, yeah. especially when it comes to communicating with us Absolutely. as parents. And I think honestly, Lilette, apart from being a super mom, you're doing so much through your own creative endeavors with raising awareness for things like child sex abuse. And is there anything you'd like to say, anything about parenting, any tips, any suggestions? To me, the bottom line that defines your relationship, what do you do all this for? What is parenting about? That at the end of the day, when they are as old as my kids are, you can say they are my 
closest friend. If you can say that and your lines of communication and channels of communication are completely clear, no matter what they're doing, I always tell them, I don't care what you're doing, just tell me. I might get irritated and angry, but it's not like I haven't done stuff. You yeah. know, you're my kids, you're chips yeah. of the old block, so I don't <laughs> expect you to be not adventurous, not try stuff. But I think if you can do that, that's all parenting is. That at the end of the day, you look and you look at your kids and you say, be like that. Yeah. With tight. They're, they're like my best friends. Yeah. Then I think you've done something right somewhere down the way. <laughs> Thank you, Lilith. Thank pleasure. you so much. My pleasure. Enjoyed being here, Tara.